guys and gals, what's crack lacking? Spicy here. Thank you for joining me again on another video of recycling HDPE. Uh, so today what we're going to do is we're going to get into start cutting this plastic down, getting it ready to melt, and eventually we'll have our end result of our slingshot made out of HDPE uh, recycled number two plastic. Be right back with you. Alright, so your, your main uh, source of the HDPE is going to be your milk jugs. I'll show you what I do with my milk jugs to get these ready to be melted down. Now, I could just stick this down and let it just melt on down, but it wouldn't I, it wouldn't be really structurally sound. You have a lot of air bubbles and stuff like that that you got to work to get out. So what I do is I cut this down to where everything will be pretty much flat. The first thing I do is I cut this uh the the rim out. All right, so I got the rim cut out. Uh, just throw that in your bucket. That'll be melted down by itself. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the handle out of the plastic. Alright, so now i got the handle uh, cut out. Now what I'm going to do with the handle is I'll just cut down the side, down the center here, and down the center here I'll have two pieces. It'll go in my bucket. So now that i got that done, um, you can see that each flat spot you have your your corners of your butt of your milk jug i'm just going to cut down each side each corner of that milk jug and then once you cut down uh like you have your milk jug here once you cut down you know this corner this corner you got this flat corner here this corner here and you cut around the corner of the bottom what you have left is you have pretty flat pieces of plastic now each plastic you know they're about five inches across about six seven inches tall what i would do on each piece like i have i'll cut down the center here and cut down the center here it'll just make it smaller and also make it easier to melt because um, you'll have you know such big pieces uh, just like the bottom i'll cut it across here and cut it across here Give you four pieces, uh, smaller pieces, and it'll be easier to melt. Let me get this all chopped up and be right back with you. All right, so I got all that plastic chopped up, and you know I quartered each section out. I quartered it out, and uh, what you have left is you have this compared to this. Um, and when I start melting this down, I'm gonna have it in a little uh, bake baking pan, so I want it to be flat. Uh, that way I can you know. Make sure each side is level and has uh, the right amount of plastic in each spot. So I don't have a high side when I'm melting down my plastic. Uh, so this is this is what turns into this. You know, you chop it down, just makes it easier. What I'm going to do is I'll take this bucket. I'm not going to chop this bucket down just yet, but I am going to use it to uh, put all my plastic in. That goes in the bucket. I'll set this over to the side. I'll get that to uh, get to that in just a little bit. Now, you have your coffee can. Now, the thing about the coffee can is, is the lid and the the uh, coffee can itself is two different plastics. Now, uh, your coffee can itself is number two plastic. Your lid to that uh, coffee can is number four plastic, which is LDPE, a low density uh, plastic. This is high density. Uh, you don't want to mix these together because what you'll have is uh, the low density uh, is not the, the, the structural integrity of this plastic is not as great as this plastic. So if you melt it together, then you're, you're not going to have, you're going to have a weak spot in your plastic and you don't want that, especially when you're making a slingshot like I'm going to make. You don't want to be pulling back your slingshot and you have an arm that's you know got a little weak spot in it and it goes to bending on you. So pretty much I'm going to take this plastic and I'm going to throw it away because I don't want it. <clears throat> I got your coffee can. On this coffee can, um, you, have, you have this label on here. It's not a sticker. It's like an adhesive uh, label. Um, I don't want that in my plastic. And I really haven't figured out how to take the label off. Uh, I don't know if I can use like paint thinner or something to take it off. I haven't figured it out yet. So all I'm going to do is this top rim and this bottom rim and the whole bottom I'm going to use in my plastic. And I'll just throw the rest of this away uh, because I don't want that in my plastic. 
because it will make it to where this plastic won't uh, melt together with the other plastic and it will just come apart so you don't want that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off and I'm going to cut this bottom off I'll be right back with you okay so got the label cut out it ended up that the, the handle part of this uh, coffee can didn't have any uh, adhesive label to it so that's plastic that I was able to keep and be able to recycle this part here I'll just throw it away because I don't need that uh, so what I'm going to do is just every piece of this I'm going to just chop up into uh, you know one one by one squares and get all this uh, chopped down be right back with you and then once you get all chopped down this is what you have left um, like I said chop down small pieces you can maneuver it in your uh, pan any way you want make different designs or you know just so you don't have a high or low spot so all this chopped up plastic going in the bucket next up we have your antifreeze jug now just like I said these labels these are stickers but because that um, I've had this jug for a while I tried to peel the sticker off and it's not coming off I don't want to fight with that trying to get that label off so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop around this label and just throw that uh, part that the label on throw it away and I'll chop up the rest of this down to smaller pieces you know starting with the handle I'll cut it off cut it down to pieces and then each side I'll have flat pieces you know just the bottom and um, this lid as well I'll chop it down and throw it in my bucket because it's also number two plastic so let me get this chopped down I'll be right back with you all right now what I have left is uh, these little chopped up pieces uh, and the labels I put over here so uh, all this plastic will go in my bucket <sighs> now what I got left is all this chopped up plastic that's ready to be melted down you see your reds in there you see your clear milk jugs and your antifreeze um, it's about three quarters of a bucket full. And this is about a two gallon bucket. So that's how much plastic I, I got out of, you know, some milk jugs and coffee cans and um, antifreeze jug. So I tell you what, I'm going to wrap this video up for this one. That's uh, just pretty much how I chop my plastic down. Um, if you have any, any better comments or, or not better comments, but any better suggestions, leave it in the comment section below of how I can, you know, chop this plastic up. Now I did have to use... Um, a hacksaw on that milk jug, I mean on that uh, anti-freeze jug uh, only because I'm crippled and it was hard to cut that with uh, my left hand. Uh, so yeah, you know, be looking out for my next video. I should have that up in a couple days of uh, me melting down that plastic and uh, getting the process going. So I do appreciate y'all watching. Uh, if you like these videos, give it a thumbs up and um, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any other videos. I'm going to call it a day, guys. I do appreciate y'all watching. And be sure to check me out in the next video. And remember, everybody's got a little backwoods in them. I'll catch you later.